We begin Unit 15, Laws of Exponents. We will cover seven laws of exponents and go over some examples. Law 1. So when we multiply like bases, we add the exponents and the base stays the same. Law 2 states, if I have a number raised to an exponent, so if I have a power, a to the m, raised to another power, then I multiply the powers together. Law 3. Law 3 states that when we have a number inside parentheses and that number is raised to a power, then we multiply that power to each exponent inside the parentheses. Law 4. Any number raised to the zero power will equal 1. A cannot be zero. Law 5. When we divide two bases that are the same, we subtract the exponents and the base stays the same. Law 6 states that if I have a fraction and I raise that fraction to a power, then each exponent in the parentheses gets multiplied to that power. Example, these are understood ones if there is not anything in there. Law 7. If I have a number raised to a negative exponent, then I need to move that number. We cannot have negative exponents in our answers. So if the exponent is in the top, we move the base and that exponent to the bottom and it becomes positive. My next example shows it the opposite way. In this case, I have x to the negative 4 in the denominator. Again, we cannot have negative exponents in our answers. So I'm going to take my base and my exponent and move it to the top. So if it's in the numerator, we move it to the denominator. If it's in the denominator, we move it to the numerator. And the exponent will become positive. Note, a negative exponent does not indicate a negative number. Example 1. I am multiplying two like bases. Law 1 states that when we multiply like bases, we add the exponents and the base stays the same. Write down the laws that you use by your problem. So adding these exponents, we have 5, because the base stays the same, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. But look, I have a negative 1 as an exponent. Law 7 says that we cannot use negative exponents. So using Law 7, we have to send the negative exponent to the bottom of the fraction, leaving 1 over 5 to the first power, which is just 5. And this is Law 7. We use two laws in this example. Example 2, 3 to the second power raised to the third power. So this is an example of law 2. When we have a power raised to a power, we multiply the powers. This is my power. I'm raising it to a power, so we multiply the two powers, and the base stays the same. So 3 raised to the 2 times 3 equals 3 to the 6, and this is law 2. Three to the sixth power is seven twenty nine. 
Okay, law three is that other example of power raised to powers um, where we have multiple things inside the parentheses. So we're going to use law three to answer this question. We first multiply two time each, times each exponent inside the parentheses. And remember, there is a one with the y. So this gives me three squared raised to the second power times x squared raised to the second power times y to the first power raised to the second power. Now I use the law 2 to distribute. So this is 3, 2 times 2 is 4, x, 2 times 2 is 4, and y, 1 times 2 is 2. I still need to clean this up, and 3 to the fourth power is 81. So I'm left with my answer, 81, x to the fourth, y squared. Example four, any number raised to the zero power is one. Law four, does not matter what the base is, my answer is going to be one, and this base goes away. Example five, when we multiply like bases, we add the exponents and the base stays the same. When we multiply like bases, four and four, we add the exponents and the base stays the same. This is four y to the y plus six power. This is law one. Example six is an example of law three. We have multiple things inside the parentheses and we're raising them to a power. So power to a power. Multiply the power. So two times one and two times negative three. So this is two to the second power times x to the negative 3 also raised to the second power. Law 3. But I'm not finished. 2 to the second power is 4 and I have a negative exponent and we learned a while ago that we cannot have negative exponents. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and finish law 3 which power to the power multiply the powers. This is negative 6 so using law 3, 2 squared is 4, and negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and the base stays the same. And then we need to use law 7 to finish simplifying. And we have 4, that's on the top because this is all over 1. We bring the x with the negative 6 to the bottom, and the base stays the same, but the 6 becomes positive. So this uses law 7. Example seven, when we divide like bases, subtract the exponents and the base stays the same. So using law five, we wanna bring four to the top to subtract because it's smaller. Always bring the smaller unit to the top or to the larger unit. So seven minus four equals m to the third. Law 6 says that when we have a fraction, we raise to a power, we multiply that power to each exponent inside the parentheses. So I have 5 to the negative 3 divided by 6 to the negative 3. Now remember, law 7 says we can't have negative exponents. So using law 7, I'm going to bring 6 to the negative 3 up and 5 to the negative 3 down. So my answer is 6 to the third over 5 to the third. And this simplifies 
216 divided by 125. Example 9. Complex problem. Using law 1, go ahead and take care of the numbers in the numerator and then take care of the numbers and variables in the denominator. So in the numerator, these are multiplied together. Our big number rules always have remained our big number rules. 2 times 4 is 8. When we multiply like bases, we add the exponents. So we get x, 6 plus 2 is 8. y and y are the same base, so when we multiply them, we add the exponents. 4 plus 3 is 7. In the bottom, 6 times 12 is 72. There's only one x to the third power. There's no more x's on this side. So I have x to the third power, and there's no more y's. So we have y to the fifth power. So that was using law 1. Law 5 says basically that we need to, when I divide two like bases, we subtract the exponents. You cannot have more than one of the same variable, and you can't have any negative exponents. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce and 8 over 72 is 1 over 9. When we divide like bases, we subtract the exponents. So I'm going to bring this x to the third to where the 8 is, and I'm going to subtract it. So we have x, and 8 minus 3 is 5. I'm also going to bring the 5 to the top and subtract. Why? 7 minus 5 is 2. This is law 5. That's the end of example 9. Example 10. We're going to look at law 7 first. This looks like a whole lot of stuff going on. And the first thing I want to do is let's get rid of the negatives. Um, let's start with the x's. Since this is negative, x to the negative 2 power, let's put it down on the bottom. x to the negative 3, let's move it up. y to the third is positive, so I want to leave it alone y squared is positive, I want to leave it alone in the bottom, and in the top, that z to the negative first power, I want to bring it down to the bottom. Second term, x squared is positive, leave it alone, y to the negative 1, let's bring it down to the bottom, z stays on top because it's positive, and the z cubed on bottom is going to stay. So now we've got rid of negatives. Now let's use the law number 1, and when we multiply, let's add the exponents and the base stays the same. So let's take care of the x's first. I have x, 3 plus 2 is 5. At the top, there are no y's to multiply, so that's going to stay the same. And also in the top, there are no more z's, so that's going to stay the same. In the bottom, I have no x squares, so I'm going to leave this x square alone. I do, however, have some y's, and when I multiply like bases, we add the exponents. So I have a y to the 2 and y to the 1. So this gives y to the third. And the last letter on the bottom is a z. Now this is really z to the first power. So when we multiply like bases, we add the exponents and the base stays the same. So that's using law 1. I still have more than one variable in this expression. I only can have one of each variable. So starting with the first one, we're going to use law 5 and then law 7, no negatives. So on the x's, if I bring those x's to the top, we have x and 5 minus 2 is 3. The y's will just reduce. 
They're the same number on top, same number on bottom. 3 minus 3 is 0. Y to the 0 power is 1. So just go ahead and mark it out. But when we get to the Z's, this is smaller. And I need to move it down to this one and subtract. Now I'm going to use law 5 that when I am dividing like bases, I subtract the exponents. Since the 1 is smaller than the 4, I'm going to bring this to the bottom. Same, so 4 minus 1 is 3, and there's my answer. This concludes day 1 of our Unit 15 photo book.